like no other sphere of life, love puts us at the mercy of our automatic brain. The decisions we make are not driven by any conscious thoughts. The really important decisions, for example, should I, should I be with so-and-so woman? And you write down the reasons why you should be with her. And you write down the reasons why you should not be with her. And they're very long. <laughs> and of course, you choose to be with her. And who's in charge here? Consciousness is almost like an afterthought. I mean, some argue we don't even have it. It's just kind of a, a PR exercise in the brain of letting you think you're involved. Sydney in Australia, adopted home of American neurobiologist Alan Snyder. If you know the city, these pictures are triggering off a chain of associations in your head. You don't just see the aerial images, you see what you know. And even if you've never been to Sydney, maybe you're thinking of Crocodile Dundee, the Olympic Games or the Opera House. Alan Snyder is an expert on all kinds of expectations in our heads. He calls them mindsets, unconscious thinking routines. And Alan Snyder is working on turning them off. In his lab, Snyder has subjects puzzle over matchstick equations. We ready to go for the next one? Yes. Once his colleague Richard Chi has set up a false equation, the subjects may only move one matchstick to get it right. Each subject must solve 27 equations. And except for the last one, each solution follows the same principle. So why don't you join in? Okay, let's do another. Two equals 10. Minus 13. At the beginning, it takes India a bit longer to figure out a solution, but her brain is already looking for a pattern. Soon she'll realise that she always has to change a Roman numeral 10 into a 5, or vice versa. Having learned the trick, India will fail in the last round. To solve this puzzle, she needs a different solution. But India is already blind to new ideas. This one's a bit trickier. Well, keep trying. You have what long? Six minutes to, to get it. Still only one matchstick? Yep, still only one matchstick on either side of the equation. Snyder believes that being an expert may also keep us from being creative. But he's discovered a way to undo the process. Isn't that fascinating that we're going to enhance creativity, not by exciting part of the brain, but by turning part of the brain off. India's head is being measured and then treated to five minutes of electrical impulses. The impulses are supposed to turn off a particular area in the left temporal lobe while stimulating the right lobe at the same time. If everything works out, India will be able to solve the equation afterwards. After just five minutes, all subjects were considerably more creative. The idea of an artificial mechanism, be it pharmaceutical or electromagnetic or whatever, yes, I think that is something that, that we will have in 20 years, yes. I think that is very conceivable. The ability to look at the world afresh. Marvelous tool, not just for scientific advances, not just for doing poetry, but also for relieving and prejudices of all sorts of kind that you can imagine, right? 
seeing someone the way they really are. One of the best examples of looking at the world through your mindsets is looking at our memories. Our memories are not literal. They're reconstructed to fit a, a story. But Snyder wants to turn off our memories. Join the game. Tom, we're going to show you a number of objects on the screen, 12 of them, and then we're going to ask you if you've seen them before. So Richard's going to start the test now. All subjects quickly find the pattern, yet they become blind to details, just like Tom. To switch off the unconscious filters that prevent him from seeing the world as it is, Helen Snyder and Richard Chi will paralyze Tom's left temporal lobe with electrical impulses. We don't have conscious access to how our brain formulates ideas. Basically, what we see is the information efforts combined into holistic ideas and concepts and labels. It's not very evolutionary advantageous to be able to uh, think about everything slowly and look for novel solutions. I mean, we want to be fast at the familiar. 